So a number of you have asked me, how do you create a work breakdown structure using Microsoft Word or PowerPoint? I'm here today to show you the exact steps that I use so you can create a WBS anytime you're managing your projects and you're working with your team. So without further ado, let's get started. From our last video on how to create a WBS in 90 seconds, I'll put the link in the description and show notes below. We walk through an example of developing a car. If you haven't seen the other videos on how to create a WBS, be sure to check out the other videos in the series below. But for now, let's use that same example to create a work breakdown structure using Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. The first step that I typically follow is I like to create a numbered list which outlines all of the project's work activities. After you've met with your team and you've worked together to identify all of the work activities that's required to execute your project, I like to create a numerical list in Microsoft Word. This list will ultimately form the initial structure of your work breakdown structure. With Microsoft Word open, find the menu for paragraphs and select the numbering library. Afterwards, select the multi-level list and the option below list library where it breaks down your list from 1 to 1.1 to 1.1.1. Then begin entering in all of your work activities. Notice that I am indenting where appropriate for each of the higher level categories of work. So for example, research and development, manufacturing, and verification testing. Rinse and repeat this step until you have all of your work activities shown in a numerical indented format. If you just want a tabulated outline version of a WBS, this should be everything that you need. But if you want to take it to the next level and have a very clean cut visual diagram that's easy for anyone to understand, all you have to do is use a smart art feature of Microsoft Word. Step number two. Create a hierarchy diagram using Microsoft Word's SmartR tool. To use a SmartR feature, click on the top tab for Insert and click on SmartArt. Under Hierarchy, select the SmartArt graphic for Hierarchy and you'll see your work breakdown structure pop up on screen inside your document. Step number three, copy and paste your outline list of project activities. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see a window that says Type or Text Here. In this window, you want to copy and paste your entire outline list that you created earlier. So let's do that right now. What you'll notice is that the entire diagram fills up with all of your work activities. You'll have to do a little bit of a cleanup and delete some of the boxes which don't have any text inside. If your diagram is really detailed and the tasks are hard to see, switch the orientation of your document from portrait to landscape. So to do this, navigate to the page layout menu and under orientation, Select Landscape. If your WBS is very detailed and consists of so many work activities, what I like to do is to change the Smart Art graphic from Hierarchy to Horizontal Hierarchy under the Layouts menu. To do this, make sure your WBS is selected, which will cause the Smart Tools menu to appear. And under Design, navigate to the Layout section and select the Horizontal Organizational Chart. The flow of all of your activities is now shown from left to right, instead of from top to bottom. Now all that's left to do is to resize the diagram by clicking on the bottom right hand corner of the diagram and resizing it until it fits the entire window. If you want to use your newly created work breakdown structure inside a presentation, you can then copy and paste this diagram into PowerPoint and resize as needed. Also, because Microsoft PowerPoint has the same exact smart art feature, you can also create a work breakdown structure directly inside PowerPoint depending upon your preference. And that's how you create a WBS using Microsoft Office and PowerPoint. It's that easy and super straightforward and has helped me out so many times when I have to manage my team's work, communicate in large meetings, and lead projects of large complexity. Question of the day for you, what is your favorite software or app that you like to use to manage your projects? And what concepts in project management on your PMP and CAPM exam do you need help with that you like me to cover in future upcoming videos? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'm here to help you and be your personal coach and mentor so you can pass and dominate your CAPM and PMP exam. 
And by the way, if you haven't checked out the other videos for creating a work breakdown structure, check out the links in the show notes and description below. So thank you so much for checking out today's video. Definitely subscribe for more CAPM and PMP training videos just like this one. And if you like this video, be sure to share this with a friend, smash that like button, and give this video a huge thumbs up. Until next time, it's Alvin the PM helping you pass your CAPM and PMP exam, and I'll see you in the next video.